brain gym for kids. Try these five easy brain gym exercises with your multilingual family. They will help them connect both brain hemispheres and at the same time improve their coordination and concentration. Stay till the end for a freebie I'm offering in these times of quarantine and homeschooling. Coming up next. Hi there, Andrea here, teacher specialized in languages. On this channel, I share with you tips and tricks and useful material. So if you're new here, consider subscribing to my email list for free material. Let's start with shapes. Try to draw with one of your fingers a triangle in the air, like this. Then try to draw a rectangle with the other hand. Now, why don't you try to combine both? You'll notice that you will have to concentrate and focus to be able to do this task. Exercise number two, the lying eight. Create a triangle with your hands and now try to form an eight, a lying eight, like this. And try to move the triangle, drawing the eight with your hands. Now, try to look into the triangle when you do this, like this. This exercise might seem very easy, but it also forces both brain hemispheres to work together. Exercise number three, the jumping hand. Place one hand on top of your head and the other one on your chest. Jump with the one hand, like up and down, up and down. With the other hand, you try to create circles like this. Now combine both, try to do it like this. Yes, very good. Exercise number four hunted rabbit. Imagine that this is a rabbit that likes to move his ears up and down, up and down. Now with your other hand, try to make a shape, a gun shape. And now try to pull the trigger and move the rabbit's ears at the same time. If it's too easy, you can also try with the other hand this. Kids will love this. Exercise number five. Thumb dance. What you're supposed to do in this exercise is to lift your thumb and straighten your little finger at the same time of the other hand. Like this. Switching. Oh, it's not so easy. By practicing these exercises, your multilingual child will be training his eye-hand coordination and improving his concentration skills. Dr. Paul Dennison found out that when students are stressed or in inactive throughout the day, their learning ability switches off. This happens also when children are immersed into a task for a longer period than their concentration span can hold. Their thoughts drift away, they get tired and unconcentrated. So, if parts of the child's brain become inactive, how are they supposed to learn? Dr. Dennison suggests that educational kinesiology, or learning through movement, awakens children's brain for higher learning. That means that your multilingual children should have a break, do some brain gym before continuing the learning process. Question of the day. Which exercise did you like the most? Let me know on the comment section. And now let's go to the freebie. During this homeschooling period, you can use some free games to play with your multilingual family. As a thank you for sticking with me until the end, I'll share with you this Corona memory. 
there are flashcards about Corona, this Corona topic. You can download and print it right away by signing up, pressing on the link below. It's only available for free for the next week, so hurry up! Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. This was Multilingual Family. Keep on doing a great job and talk to you soon.